shop with today's tech tip. This time we're going to discuss an easy way to determine frequency dependent distortion that you may be experiencing with your amp. You ever played a certain note and you get a little bit of a buzz or perhaps a little bit of fizzle in your speaker and it only seems to happen when you play that one note? Well let me show you a way that you can determine what the cause is. All right, so let's say that you have this issue and you want to use your guitar as the source. So you play the note. You see all that craziness on the scope. It'd be almost impossible to use that as a reference to troubleshoot. So let's say you decide to use an audio generator. Sweep your frequencies and try to catch that distortion. Well, that's almost impossible too because the frequency is running 100% of the time. Maybe your problem only happens when you initially strike that note. So here's a possible solution for isolating that distortion that you're hearing at a certain note that you're playing. We're going to use a pulse generator. And we're going to set the pulse generator to the frequency of the note that you're having an issue with. So you can look it up on the web you can say, I'm hitting a C note, that equals a certain frequency. There's charts on there for free. Okay, I'm not going to quote what they are. But you'll set up a pulse generator, and we'll look at the output with a scope. Let me show you how this works. All right, so what I have here is a HP 33120A arbitrary waveform generator. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But you can find an old pulse generator old HP style on eBay for about fifty to hundred dollars and you can do the same test. I've got this set up in burst mode and I can trigger it with this button. So you see that? So that's the output of the amp. And I'm hitting it with a 400 Hertz tone. Now if there was distortion or ringing I would see it. And then you can change your frequency. Let's say it's 600 Hertz. Let's say it's a thousand Hertz. So this would be a way that you can inject the tone to try to make the amp cause the problem. And then you could say, well, is it the actual output going to my speaker? In this case, you can see it's clean, okay? So if you heard that distortion, it's more than likely a bad speaker. Well, there you have it. Take it for what it's worth, okay? I'm not telling you that this is a surefire way of doing it, but it is a way that you can produce one cycle of a tone that could be causing problems with your amp. So I hope this was handy information for you.